hello and welcome to my channel in this video i'll show you how to give titles to your plots and label the axis and also display the grids in this uh, example shown you'll see that the plots are just done and there are no names attached to the plots they are just plots this here is just a command to sh generate the plot at this location same here the plots have not been labeled here you cannot see if you don't know what plot it is they are just plots no names no labels and no grids here we can see the same plots but this time the plot has been labeled this is the title of the plot this is the y label and this is the x label so the purpose of this video is to show you how to label the plots label the y axis and the x axis and um, show the grids here the grids have been shown these two examples in the others the grids have not been shown so you might want to show these two in your plots and also you will see that the labels here these labels are bigger than um, these labels so you can also do that yeah so let's go to the IDE and try to demonstrate this we're in the IDE I've imported pi and a few functions from numpy I've also imported subplot and figure from matplotlib so the next thing I'll have to do is create figure I'll call it figure 1 and then I will have to create my data so this is my data um, this is the data I used in my subplotting tutorial we'll do the first subplot so again I'll split this into six so subplot two three and then the first one so I'll plot my first values plt dot plot and then I'll plot the x1 y1 and assign triangle marker and then I'll do I'll put a plt dot show here a little bit far from it let me just run this so you see this is the plot this is the first plot no name nothing there's nothing on it so to give the plot a title we'll just do plt dot title and then we'll pass a string so I'll call it plot of sign x and then if I run it now you see that the plot has a title plot of sign x is there but the y axis and the x axis haven't been labeled so I can label this also by calling plt dot x label and then I'll pass a string there too I'll call it x in radians and then if I run that you will see that the x label is there similarly I can define the y label by passing plt dot y label and passing a string I'll call it um, sign x and then if I run this you see that so th this plot makes a lot more sense now it has a title and then the y x axis has been labeled the x axis has also been labeled so what we could go on to do is also create a grid so do plt dot grid and if we run it now there should be a grid we have a grid we could um, do a second subplot so this is my second this is my second subplot and I'll pick this and put it here to a lot fast and then in the title I'll just modify the title to represent it accurately so 
because it's this huh, is a sine x times the exponential of the negative x and I'll put this here too okay so if we run this now we have the two plots and they have both been labeled so one has a grid the other doesn't so it's pretty much like this so now I've shown plus of this I would like to show, show a, last, a last example at the at this locations at this locations this and this and again we have to label them so we label this to be tan x and this is also tan x and then yeah I could pick it with a grid too like this and put it here and now call this tan x and also tan x so if we run this we have it labeled tan x and tan x times exponential of minus so what um, we could do we can specify the font size of the label so if I want this font size to be large I can say font size is equals to and I pass a string of with large in oh, we'll run it let's see you can see that this uh, font size is bigger than this one so you can make your font size large so similarly I can also make um, the x label large as well and then we'll run it and we have them both large this and this are bigger than this and that so that's basically it I'll leave this one empty you can try that out yourself um, by plotting trying to plot these values there and labeling them so i would like to end the tutorial here you should practice this yourself try more complicated examples and you'll be more familiar with math mat plotlet so thanks for watching and if you like my video give this video a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to my channel for more concise tutorials like this thank you